machines can have vulnerabilities of their own. Now there is a very large database of known vulnerabilities that are found in the real world and gathered up for penetration testers to use on the field. Now I'm going to show you how to find vulnerabilities of machines using the network mapper from the Kali Linux, Parrot OS or Cyborg or any of the penetration testing tools. Or if you have a normal Linux machine, just like Ubuntu, you can go ahead and install the network mapper and then we can jump right straight to the business. Now I'm going to show you how to scan for vulnerabilities on today's episode of Hands On. Okay, now let's, let's go through this. Uh, there's something that I uh, thought I should mention. Um, the, the guys over at uh, Offensive Security have created um, the Proving Grounds platform which is basically same as uh, Hack the Box for those who know it. It's basically a platform where you are provided with virtual machines and you just get a chance to basically practice your penetration testing uh, skills. So basically it's like they made it in the form of a game. Basically you have access to a number of machines such as uh, these ones so firstly you would want to go and download the vpn pack then in your real machine you'd want to um you'd want to connect to their vp to your vpn pack and then once you do that you'll have access to you'll have connectivity to these uh machines that you see there so firstly you'll need to go over to um, offensive security and go to the proving grounds page and create an account if you do not know, I should create a video on how to do it in the near future, but just do mention it in the comments if you're failing to do that and I will uh, teach you how to do that. So once you do that, um, you'll basically be able to connect to it. So I've, I've uh, downloaded my, my VPN pack, um, which I believe is pg.ovpn. So I'm gonna go ahead and install and connect to it. Um, so that's going to be sudo openvpn pg.ovpn. Alright. So now, as soon as it has connected, then we can start doing some NMAP scans. So I can choose uh, any of the machines right there. Now, I'm sure you can see that it says uh, connected to a VPN. So all as well. So now I can boot up a machine. So now I'm going to run this uh, fun easy one. So what I'm going to do is perform a scan on that machine. So I should be able to see um, its IP address. So what I'm going to do is just use um, this machine to perform uh, the scan, the NMAP vulnerability scan with the hopes that um, I'll hopefully get something. If not, at least you guys would have understood how the end my vulnerability scan is done. All right. So now, uh, end my vulnerability scans are done with uh, scripts. Now there are two scripts that, we, uh, that you could use to uh, run a vulnerability scan with end uh, The first uh, script is vulnus. You can head over to the nmaps um, website you should be able to find the script there and go along and install that script and this is basically how it looks when it runs and finds our vulnerabilities from a target machine then the other one is is a script that comes uh, pre-built with the machine which is the vuln um, command okay i believe it's now connected and that should be the IP address of that machine. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we have uh, the ability to communicate with it. So let's try and ping it 168.161.31. Okay, there we go. So we are able to communicate with it. So first method is using the VULN uh, command. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say um, script. Okay, and then I'm gonna type in the name of the script that I wanna use. 
so if i want to use the vql and script then that's the one that i'm going to specify there okay then what i'm gonna do is tag sv okay then once i'm done with that i'm going to basically specify the target in this case it's the ip address that i got from the proving grounds okay 161.11 uh triple one okay and then give it a little time to run the scan so basically it's going to be using is this script is uh the one that comes pre-built and rather pre-installed into the network mapper so by default it will come with a network mapper and its own database of which it uses so that one is a very pretty basic approach okay now do know that the database of vulnerabilities and cves is very big so it will take a little while because it has to go through each vulnerability one by one and test it against the machine so we're gonna go along and wait for this now for those who do not have nmap installed on their linux machines they can go along and install it uh, using the apt get command and you do this very easily by saying sudo apt install nmap it's as easy as that and then you're just gonna need to run the script now as for me I don't exactly need to run the script because I already have the nmap um, package installed so there is no need for me to uh, run that um, to run that uh, there we go now we found something so if you look at this we have a number of vulnerabilities that we found uh, this these are the CVE numbers that you see here now it will not uh, exactly uh, tell you the details uh, on these um, vulnerabilities that we, we have here so if you wanna find the details you can go ahead and hit your search engine and then it will explain to you on what those vulnerabilities are okay uh, one of these is the CVE 2020 uh, and N490 okay so that's one of them um we have these ones and this th this is this machine has a uh, quite a lot of vulnerabilities if you do see this um you can it actually has uh, the links for you to, for, to like find more information on the vulnerabilities for instance this uh this one so if i wanna if I want more info on this vulnerability, I can just go in and open that link. And then it will take me to the Volner's uh, website uh, of of the of this specific vulnerability, of which is CVE 2021 which is this one. And there is a more detailed explanation on these uh, vulnerabilities. So if I was on the field, and I find such a vulnerability I would wanna exploit it from there if I'm working on red teaming if I'm working on blue teaming well then I would have to patch up this vulnerability as soon as possible or else there are attackers out there who may wanna take advantage of it so if I was to find a a specific exploit for it I would go to the exploitdb.com and then there that's where they have a a whole collection of public exploits okay so you can just uh, type in the name of the exploit the, that you're looking for okay and you're good to go so very much there's more than one uh, vulnerability that, that, that I, I, I see here so that's very much how easy it is to run a nmap vulnerability scan if you have the network mapper installed using the VULN script that comes pre-installed 
with and map it is as easy as that so just keep in mind it's all from the technique here. so remember to like subscribe share or whatever it is to keep me motivated peace